Unazanguka? What's up people, welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Claude Joseph and if it's your very first time here, kindly consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. I'm at the lake side right here, I'm at the lake side as you see right here, so we are going to try the boat right here. My first time, my first impression and this is how we go, this is how we go, so I'm going to board this. So this is how we do it. <laughs> so we are boarding this and uh, let me see the first impression here at the lake side. Let's see how everything is going man. Yes. So we have to board this and see how everything is. We have to step here and go up. You can see water is just coming, water is coming, water is coming man. So we are at the lake side and this is the means of transport right here. So let me know at the comment section guys, uh, how do you commute yourself from one island to other island? What types of uh, machines do you use? With us we use this type of machine, it's called a boat. So it's attached, to, it has an engine right there that is going to help us, an engine like this right here. An engine like that. So we are going to see how everything is. So let's see how we are going, man, and how I just bought this. See you there. So that's how how we are going. That side, Papa. So guys, we want to go there. So come We are stepping right now. Ah, what can you So, so nice, guys. Be here. Yes, that was the guy behind the camera. So we traveling right here. Oops. Alright, so these are the type of seats right here that we usually use. No comfy seats, just some wooden seats and uh, you're good to go. So that's it guys, we are at the lake side right here. Let me know at the comment section like how do you commute yourself like from one island or from the mainland to an island. Because right here as you see, we are at the lake. So we have to start from this journey, from here to one of the islands, so-called Kiwa Island. It's one of the islands we have here, the Great Lake Victoria. But yes, we have so many islands, around 5 or 10 basin or Kenyan uh, place. So let's see how we cough the engine and we start off. Yes. Just drying up sardines, so these are type of activities that is just being done here at the lakeside. And others right there are just fishing in the water, you see, for whom is and that water, like, is a water vendor. He is a water vendor, like, that's what he does for a living right here, so. It's 
it is what it is we have to cruise from one place to another and see how everything is we have to document africa to the world to see how our, our life is what are type of activities what are type of hustles that people undergo for their daily basis and uh, for what they can do to put something on table yes, so the guy in front of us right there the guy in front of us he's trying to push like this boat is it a boat or a canoe or a raft let me know at the comment section how do you call this is it a boat is it a raft or is it a canoe because with me right here i can regard it as a boat so or a ship no not a ship let me know at the comment section how do you call this how do you call this is it a boat a raft a ship or a canoe yes so we are cruising and we have to start close fingers for your village boy right here pray for him you know we are cruising from one area my first impression here is like i just like how everything is how people socialize i just love how the fact that people are very cool people are very chill at times you know, not at the other time when i was here so the other people are there and they're just doing amazing you see so this is the main stage you can say the stage all where the boats anchor you see right here so this is how they anchor right here so yes we have started our journey guys close your fingers for this village right here and uh, my impression this is my very first impression not that it's the first impression where i came and come back here but i have been boarding these great great canals great boats for so, so long but now we have to see i have to come back as never before to do some amazing content right here so, already, already he has called the engine right there. We are moving. Already, so we are trying to circumnavigate around and see. This is how it goes. We are moving. At times I used to hear these things like, see. tell you guys if you don't have if this is not made for the faint hearts if you have a faint heart you cannot board this thing i assure you because at times you may feel because due to waves due to strong waves you cannot board this because at times it goes up down up and down so we are moving we have left the main stage or the boat anchor in place so we are moving right here so these are the lake shows and as you see most of the boats have been anchored right here fishermen have come from the lake to fish now the sardines are there made to bust some fish have been taken to other places and uh, one of the greatest things about lake victoria is like it produces one of the best nile patch supplies food china supplies things special things like uh what we call like sweet bladder and you know very well the works of the swim bladder is to make some surgical searches so when we call about surgical searches when one is cut that rope we can regard it as a rope that the one is used to to be see that the uh, damaged place on the cut place is made from these fish so called nile perch from the what we call like the swim bladder yes guys so enjoy 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 the view let your village boy enjoy wow so we are heading there guys you see already we have started seeing already we have started seeing that island but it may take us uh, maybe 30 minutes or 15 minutes to commute from mainland to the island right there so let's go and see how everything will be man 
my first impression is like I just loved the fact that people are very nice so I can't wait to try some local foods here and uh, you can guess what is the local food here maybe it can be fish or whatever but you see around the lakeside right here no one tends to cultivate but to work for fishing only you see yes yeah, so enjoy the amazing view right here So you see the way it swings? Yes. Man, I can feel the breeze. So nice. You know? So chilling. It's good, man, to travel like, or to explore and see how everything is, man. Yes. What do Cloud Joseph love about this thing is like there's no traffic jam. No traffic jam compared to maybe the mainland where we can say like to the big cities, maybe Kisumu, Nairobi and uh, maybe Mombasa or other places, maybe Uganda Kampala. There's no traffic jam here. It's just like you cruise, you cruise and it's very fast. At your comfort zone, you know. You have to cruise at your comfort zone. When you feel you can hear how everything is. I do not have those big machines, maybe, you know. It's just the simple ones. They're just made here, not that they have to go to the industries, no. They're just made locally here. As you see right there, let me change the camera and show you. You see the other place right there? They're just cruising. Right there, they're just cruising, using a can right there. And with your boy right here, Claude Joseph, he's cruising, using this great can right here, or a, a boat. Depends on how you call it. You know? Yes, no traffic jam here. So we have to enjoy cruising right here. Like maybe people running here and there. We only have maybe two boats that commutes people from mainland to island. That's good. It's good to go. Just living a simple life, no faking. This is how things look like here. It's very nice. Let me know what do you love. What do you love about the Lake Victoria Fall? What do you love when you're living near the massive water body like this or the large water body like this? What do you love? Do you love surfing? Do you love like maybe boat racing? You know? And one thing I came to, uh, to realize like these lakes, not like Indian Ocean, maybe in Mombasa, where you can see people kiting, where you can see people surfing, where you can see boat, ra uh, boat riding. All people like having something which we call like uh, deep sea diving or what we call like uh, diving competition, no, or swimming competition, no. This is how it is. It's just a simple life. And as you see right there, that's a fish cage, you know. That's a fish cage. You can imagine. It have even electricity right there. But one fact is, it has an electricity there. I mean, maybe they use some solar panels. We don't know. So, uh, we are heading there today. What you call like at your island. And this is my first impression. Yeah, 
those people have policies do they have government do they have what we call like electricity so let's go see do they have some educational systems let's go see let's go explore and see how everything is we have to educate the world that also here in africa not like people may tend to say like people suffering no it's just a small portion that is suffering but don't call it as regarded as suffering or suffering but it depends with how they are so let's go see how everything is man we have to take africa to the world you know enjoy enjoy the view we have to present africa very well man look those are fish you know fish cages right there wow let me know do you people are real fish that way do you use some fish cages or ponds so with us here it's at the middle of the lake but you can see they just did everything as you see right here you know we can say we can say like fishing is the main activity for sure it's the main activity you can see they constructed the house right there maybe that is a power house we cannot regard it but let's see we are almost there uh, we just took around 12 minutes from the mainland we took around uh, around 12 minutes from the mainland let's go see how everything will be peace forces or compression of forces that forced them to fall apart so may i know at the comment section guys can it be due to compression of forces or tectonic forces or due to down warping because at my other videos i told you how this lake was formed it was formed due to down warping or uh, uh, how can we say the uplifting of the other forces so let me know between this hill right here and there's another one right there the island so there's a middle space right here where is the lake victoria now so may i know like educate this village boy educate this village boy can it be tectonic forces or compression forces let me know for those people who did geography let me at the comment section man but if you know you know tell us yes so enjoy you see Oh, for the first time, I see like they are cultivating right there. They have some plantains right there. We also have some sugar cane, and they harvested maize from the other side. To mean also like no, but it is done in small scale. It's not in large scale, guys. Look, it's not in large scale. It's in small scale. Oh man. Okay. So we are approaching, we are approaching, man, the island right there. Let's go see how everything is, man. So, oh, there are also some maize, but it's done, man, in a very, very small scale. Look. Ooh, ooh. Hey, 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 hey. But with me, I can recommend an irrigational like scheme right here, where they can maybe demolish everything right there and plant everything. But you see, they will base on fishing at times. Man, on my other video, I interviewed one of the fishermen, and he told me like. Uh, one thing that one can do here to become successful at times, not that much that's successful, but the great hustle is like maybe you do hawking right here. Yes, that's gonna be very nice. Oh. So you see, okay, okay, that's great. So 
told you like if you have a faint heart you cannot go this time. maybe they tie you with some ropes so that you can cruise and maybe if they tie you you may be screaming like crazy because you cannot regard it as a turbulence if you have ever boarded a plane you can imagine how the turbulence is these small planes i'm not regarding as the big planes you know maybe kenya airways i don't know if kenya airways have some turbulence but these are things like jumbo jet and others so you know this how what you call it the turbulence so you may feel that turbulence here at the lake side too yes i'm not lying just come and testify but only what i know is like i just give my honest opinions about i just give my honest opinions about how things are here we are cruising man the impression here is like man you know like we have some great turbulence <laughs> so the waves are so strong at times so you, that's why you see like we are going up and down up so it's like we are swinging we are swinging you know we are swinging if you have ever bothered this if you have ever bothered this comment down below like how do you feel being on a boat or a canoe or a raft Welcome to Kiwa Island, the land of a few, but the many there, the are, man, look the way it is. So your boy, Claude Joseph right here, you wanna appreciate what you think is. Thank you so much guys for being on this channel, Claude Joseph, and uh, let's see how everything is. I welcome you to this great island right here. It takes around 30 minutes to cruise half an hour to cruise from the mainland to this island right here. So let's go and see how everything is. And let me know at the comment section. Have you ever ordered such an object or such a thing uh, cruising from one place to another? You know, how do you feel? This is your, your impression. My impression here is like I enjoy, I feel so much. Everything is nice. And, uh, let's see how everything is right here. I hope there's no like mm, what I'm I'm thinking. But let's go and see. First, I have to meet the chief because the chief is one of my friends here. Yes, the other time, I don't know if he has gone to the mainland, but let's see how everything is, man. Let's go see what Kiwa Island can offer to us right here. Peace. So we are lighting right here, man. 